Hey y'all, welcome back, or if this is your first time seeing me, hi, my name is Daisha, and I have a small crochet brand called Life's Not So Bad. And this is my new series where I'm introducing room decor and home decor. Starting with this protection pillow, I'm going to give you guys a full detailed tutorial from start to finish on this whole creative process. I want this series to just involve items that we can put in our home and our space to make it more happy and creative. If you have any suggestions on something else that you would like to see in this room decor series, please leave it in the comments. And please follow me on all my social media platforms. Life's not so bad. I'll leave the links and usernames in the description as well as everything I use. Hi. Welcome. This is the workstation for today's tutorial. And I'm going to show y'all how I created this protection pillow. I've seen this pillow all over my Pinterest as well as Instagram at some point, especially during like COVID times when everybody was at home. So I really wanted to recreate that pillow with y'all today. And plus, I want to start a new series where I get into room decor and home decor. Just to spice up the home decor a little bit, you can add some crochet pieces to it. And um, I'll be making tutorials about the different things. But yeah, I just want to make my room. I don't know. I feel like I don't have a whole lot of crochet things in my room. And so I want to start incorporating these things. So I'm going to start small and then we're going to build our way up. But y'all will be along with the process with me. So let's get into the materials that you're going to need. Okay. You can change up this color palette if you want to. You can do what you want. Honestly, y'all, when I show y'all how I just did this, it's going to be so simple, so quick. All we're doing is 10 rows on both sides. So 20 rows all together. And yeah, it's going to be very simple. So we're going to start off with the yarn that you're going to need. I'm using the Burnett Blanket Yarn. It is so soft so oh so plush so soft so comfy i definitely want to make a blanket with this yarn um they have so many different versions and i got all of my materials from joann's so yeah i'm using the burnett blanket yarn i'll leave the links to everything down below if you just want to go check it out they always have sales as well as um you can always use a coupon. So I'm using the Burnett yarn. I got various shades of blue. I also got black and white. And I have this kind of tannish color, cream color. Um, also, you're going to need a pair of scissors. I have my unicorn scissors. She's cute. And for this project, I used a 9 millimeter hook. This is my Clover hook. If you don't know the Clover brand, it is literally the best brand for crochet hooks. Um, yeah, try it out. If you haven't tried out Clover, very, very comfortable hooks. They, you know, don't give me wrist pain or anything. So, yeah, I'll leave the links to the yarn as well as the Clover hooks down below so y'all can go buy some but we're going to get into the tutorial and first things first we're going to start off with our color black um i say wait before i get started i'm gonna put the links to the yarn but i save the colors just so i can remember like the tag so this is how the official tag looks the burnet blanket yarn yeah this is how they look i save the tags just so i can remember the colors but yes, I'll leave all the links down below. But we're going to start with black. So I'm going to put all of these to the side for now. I'm just going to see if we can just put this to the side. Okay, there we go. We're going to put those to the side. We're going to start with black. Um, we're going to start with the center of the eye, the pupil. I don't know the correct terms for the eye, so I'm sorry if I'm getting them wrong. Um, but we're going to start with the pupil. So this entire process of making both sides of the pillow, basically you're going to be crocheting it around. What that essentially means is you're doing increase stitches to make your circle big. Oh, 
y'all i forgot you also need a pillow i'm so sorry before i get started i am so sorry you also are going to need a pillow so this is the pillow that i'm using i saw these at joann's they were on sale it's the polyfill pillow inserts i got a 16 inch it's a very big pillow you'll be surprised how big this pillow is and i got it on clearance for seven bucks this is the pillow i forgot you will need a pillow and if you can't find a pillow either like at your craft store you can go to the thrift store if you have an old pillow in your room in your closet you can use that pillow um but you will need a pillow and if you don't have a pillow you can also just use regular polyfill to stuff your pillow with um but we'll get into that later on in the video we have to actually make both panels of the um pillow so i forgot so sorry about that but you will need a pillow or something to wrap both panels around okay so let's get started with the black so first thing first i'm going to do i'm going to take my yarn i'm going to make a slip knot and just take your time this black is very dark it's going to be hard to see if you girls or guys if you use a stitch marker you should want to get a stitch marker i normally do not use stitch markers but i'm going to get a stitch marker for this occasion just so that um y'all can see and follow along with me so let me grab a stitch marker really quickly I'm going to keep her right there. So we have our stitch marker. So we're going to, after we um, made our slip knot, you're going to insert your hook. You're going to chain four. If you want to do a magic circle, you can. I do not like the magic circle, so I am going to do it this way. So you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We have our four. Now we're going to take the loop that we're on. We're going to insert our hook into the very first stitch of this chain four to create a circle. We're going to pull this yarn through. We pulled our chain four. We inserted our hook in the first stitch and pulled through. And now we have a circle. I can kind of see my finger going through it, but that is our little circle. We are going to crochet inside of that circle. So to start off this next round, we are going to chain three. This is going to be the start of this round. And this is where your stitch marker can come in handy. I want you to take your stitch marker for those girls who can't see. I just want to see where y'all, you know, want y'all to see where I'm coming from and follow along with me. Take your stitch marker and place it in the third space. That's the beginning. So when we come around, we know that's the beginning. All right. So I know it's hard to see, but we're going to crochet inside of this circle. So we're going to start by crocheting 12 times in the circle. It's okay. I'm going to follow along with you. So we're going to yarn over. Insert our hook inside of the circle. Pull through. We have three loops on our hook. One, two, three. We're going to pull through all three loops. So we're one. Do that again. Yarn over. Insert inside of our circle. Pull through three loops on our hook pull through all three that's two we're going to do that 12 times till we get all the way back around to our green stitch marker so we're on number two three four five six seven Oh, I'm going too fast. Eight, nine, ten. So you may get to a point where you feel like, oh, I don't have enough room. What, like, what can I do? 
just scoot her over. Just scoot her over. So we're, we're at 10, 11, 12. All right. So where that stitch marker is on that third top stitch, we're going to insert our hook into that. Oop, can I get her in there? Insert our hook. You're going to um, pull, pull your working yarn through both loops. And we're done. We're done with the pupil, the first part of the pillow. So you're going to take your scissors. You're going to cut it off. And pull through. We're done with your first little circle. Okay, now that I'm finished with the first row, the first color, I'm going to move on to the next color, which is this beautiful bright blue. And we're going to continue with the next round. So first things first, I'm going to make a slip knot. And I'm going to insert my hook from where we last left off, right in that chain space. And I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to chain three. I'm going to also take the stitch marker from my stitch marker girlies and put it in that top space so that we can remember where the top is when we come back around. So we're essentially just going to be increasing the circle to expand it to make a bigger. So we're going to have to do an increase stitch. So to do that, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the same chain space. We have three loops on our hook. Pull through all three. So that's one. In the next space, we're going to put two of that stitch in the same space. Yarn over. Insert our hook in the space. Pull a loop. Three on our loop. Pull through all three. So that's one. We're going to do one more in the same space. So that's two. We're going to continue that pattern one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around until we're done. So the next one, one. And if, as you notice, our loose ends, I'm crocheting right over them so that weaving in our ends is much easier and we save a lot of time in the end. So that was one. The next one, we'll do two in the same space. Next space, we'll do one. Next space, we'll do two. One. Two. Next space, we'll do one. Next space, we'll do two. One. Two. Next space, we'll do one. Next space, we'll do two in the same space. One. Two. Next space is one. Last space. One. Two. That top stitch, we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop. We can take out that stitch marker for right now. So for this next round, we're going to do two rows of blue. So we started off with one row of black. Next row, we'll have two rows of this beautiful blue shade. So we're going to chain three to start our next round. And just how we just did our one, then two in the same stitch, one, two in the same stitch. We're going to do the same thing, except we're going to do one, two, two in that third stitch. Sounds confusing, but let me do it with you guys. So yarn over in that same space one the next space we're going to do just one in the third space we're going to put two in the same space we're expanding our circle it goes in no um it goes in order by its number so you start one two three four and you just keep going until you want your circle big enough so one Two in that third space, you put two in the same one. One, 
two. So I don't know if you can tell. If you're not good at counting or you just can't tell, the increase always goes in the same chain, or chain space that the increase from the last row is in. So I just did my one and my two. My next increase is going to go right underneath that bottom increase. That's how you know you're doing it right. So one, two, one, two, one, two, next space, two in the same space. So one, two, last space, two in the same space. Oh, I forgot to put my stitch marker on for my girls. So that top space, we're going to close off this round. This is our last color for this round. Insert our hook. Pull up a loop and take our scissors. And we're going to cut off to start on the next color, which will be white. So that's how our eyes coming out so far. As you see, so now we're going to start with white. I'm going to put the blue to the side for now. And let me get my stitch marker. Well, we don't need it now, but we know that this is where we ended it off at. We're going to take our white shade. We're going to make a slip knot. And then we're going to insert our hook. And you guys, make sure that you guys are doing it on the correct side. You can tell kind of like which side is inside out, like the correct side. And then the, you know, the side with the kind of stitches. So just make sure that you're doing it on the correct side, okay? Okay, so for this white robe, we're just going to do one robe white. One robe right. So... Same process, insert our hook, pull up a loop, chain three to start our round, always chain three. We can put our stitch marker in that top stitch. Like I said, I don't usually use stitch markers, but this is for y'all, for those who don't know how to find the top stitch to connect it. So in the same stitch, we're going to, we just did one, we just did two, we're going to move on to three. So... First space, one. Second space, you're going to do one. And I hope that this is like really clear and you guys are following along with me. The next space is three. So we're going to put one. So we have one, two, three. In that fourth space, we're going to put two in the same space. And we're going to continue that. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. Because we're on row three. I really hope that makes sense. So, one. 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 The fourth space. Two in the same space. One, 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 like I said, we're going to do 10 rows, so it's very simple, let me redo that one, we're going to do 10 rows for each side of our pillow, so it's 20 rows all together, so one, two, three, fourth space, two in the same space, wait, what's going on here? Here we go. Or space, we're going to put two in the same space. 
gonna do one, two, three, next space, two in the same space, one, two, I love how like smooth this yarn is. It just glides between my fingers. It glides between my hook. It glides between my fingers. It's super soft. Like I really want to make a blanket with this yarn. Especially for like the winter coming up. Last space. And then we're going to connect it at the top. We're only doing one row for white. Take your scissors, you're going to cut off and our next color is going to be our darker blue. So we'll use the dark blue. She's cute. Like I said, even if you don't want to do the protection pillow, you can change this out and do like stripes or like your favorite colors it doesn't have to be this color i'm just showing you guys the process that i took so we're going to start on blue same process insert our hook pull up a loop chain three to start our round put your stitch marker on that top one so we just did row three we're going to do four so yarn over one next space one next space one the third what is it the fourth space one that fifth space you're going to put two in the same space you see how our circle went from that tiny black one to now it's getting bigger it's because we are doing our increased stitches in between each round so we're going to continue okay and this time for the darker blue we're going to do two rows no we're going to do three rows i'm sorry three rows of the darker blue sorry about that okay so next row one 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 next space is our increase so we're going to do two one 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 next space increase one uh oh i need to pull some more yarn do i have the hiccups am i growing okay gotta pull some more yarn out And honestly, this doesn't take long at all. I'm looking at the filming time right now. We're at 13 minutes. So this, I feel like this is something you can do in less than an hour. And I absolutely love my protection pillow. It's so comfortable, so cozy. And I'm excited for this room decor or just house decor series. It's gonna be really fun. So I'm gonna continue with you guys until we get back to our green stitch marker. And let me know in the comments down below what other kind of home decor or room decor that you guys want to see crochet wise. Um, I always love suggestions, so please let me know in the comments. All right, we're working our way there. This is our last increase stitch. We're doing three rows for this dark blue. So we reached our end, top stitch loop 
we're going to remove our stitch marker because we're going to start the next round. So chain three to start the next round. One, two, three. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook. So now we are on number six. So you're going to go six. In that increase stitch, you're going to put two in the same one. So we just did one, two, three, four, five. That six space, we're going to increase. And you're going to continue. And you guys, you guys can slow this video down. I know I crochet pretty fast, but if you need to slow this down, you totally can. It's up to you and your style of crocheting. I think the next pillow I want to do is either going to be a smiley face or an eight ball. I think that would be really cute. I'm thinking a smiley face. I like that would be cute. Be like one side happy, other side sad. All right, our increase stitch. We're about halfway there. I always, I told y'all, I don't normally use stitch markers unless I absolutely need to, so I keep forgetting to put the stitch marker back in there. Okay. All right, let's continue. All the way around. And if you made it this far, in the comment section, I want you to put a yarn ball emoji if you made it this far. No, not a yarn ball emoji. Give me a red heart if you made it this far. Comment that red heart. All right, we're on our increase stitch. We're gonna put two in that same space. We're almost to our green stitch marker. We're gonna do three rows, friends. So we gotta keep going. Oops, going too fast. And keep going all the way around and in our increase stitch we're going to put two in that same space all right so we've made it to our end of our row we're going to loop this off so we can do one more row move the stitch marker so let's count see how many rows you should have by now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six. So right now, if you're on the sixth row, you're doing a good job. You stayed with me the entire time. So this is the side that will be facing the outside. And this is like our ugly side. Or like, you know, the stitches are kind of, you know, not as neat. So make sure the ugly side is always facing you. All right. So now let's continue one more row. So chain three to start the next round. We just did six. We're on the seven. Stitch marker on that top stitch. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull through. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven space. We're going to put two in the same space. One, 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 one. This space, you're going to put two in the same space. 
I'm telling you guys, if you miss a space or skip a space, you're definitely going to see the difference in how your circle forms. It's going to be real lopsided and wonky. You're going to be wondering why. It's because you skipped a space three rows down. You skipped a space three rows ago and you're just not noticing. So make sure that you're counting. Stay focused. Because you can easily miss a space and not even realize it. Easily. I'm going to continue all the way around. This is our increased space. We're going to put two in the same space. See how our circle is getting bigger and bigger. Like I said, if you need to slow this down, you can. I know I'm pretty fast. Gotta keep unwinding yarn. <laughs> I can't stress enough how like soft this yarn is. Our increase space. We put two in the same space and keep going. All right, this is the last row of our dark blue section. So I'm going to close off this section. And remove our stitch marker. So this is where we're at now. I just dropped our stitch marker. You're going to have like this weird kind of circle shape. And trust me, like, if your circle is not a perfect circle, that is okay. Because our pillow is in a circle shape, once we get to that step of actually attaching this to our pillow, it will start to form in that perfect circle. So if it's in this weird kind of boxy circle shape, you are completely fine. Do not worry. Let me pick up our stitch marker because I dropped it. Okay, got our stitch marker. So now our... Next and last color will be our beige color, or like our tan color. I think I have just enough to finish this. I've been making other ones. I've made about six so far, so I think I have enough just to finish this. And so for these last rows, it's going to be our last three rows. We're going to be using that tan color, and we're going to continue on expanding our circle. Okay, so we're going to take our tan color, same thing, what we've been doing. Can I pull from the middle? I can. I like to pull from the middle. I, I wanted these cake balls up myself, but I like to pull from the middle. It's so much easier. <laughs> okay, let me fix this real quick. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so we got our end piece. We're all tangled up. <laughs> okay, so... Same thing, what we've been doing, slip knot, insert our hook. All right, we just made our slip knot. We are going to insert our hook into that last space. And we just did seven. We're going to move on to the number eight. So chain three to start our next round, like always. 
insert our stitch marker into that top space. We're going to yarn over. In that same space, we're going to add one. Next space is two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. In the ninth space, we're going to put two. That's our increase. And we're going to continue on. We're going to do three rows of the ten. And I think I'm just going to meet you guys when I'm done with all of my three rows. And then we can start on prepping our pillow and connecting both of our panels to the pillow. You will need two panels for both sides of the pillow. I'll explain that later on, but I'm going to meet you guys around once I'm done with all three rows of our tan color like i said you should have 10 rows for each panel it's going to be 10 rows so i'll meet you guys when it's time for us to prep our pillow before putting on our cover okay okay so i have finished both panels of our pillow so like i said 10 rows on each side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten rows on each side. I'm just going to take the last one I worked on and just kind of clean up a few of the leftover pieces that are hanging out. Just make sure that everything is tugged. Everything is tugged. Everything looks good. I don't need to cut anything. So now we are going to prep our pillow. So for right now, we're just going to put our two sides to the side. And let them kind of chill out for just a moment and we're going to prep our pillow like i said this this pillow was on clearance at my job at joann's but um i will find another link for y'all to find more of these round pillows but it's super fluffy i'm going to rip her out the plastic rip her out the plastic she's been acting brand new but yes y'all this pillow is like bigger than kind of what y'all think it is i'm gonna just throw that over to the side for now but this is how the pillow comes it's just a big squishy pillow pretty very very firm it comes with the washing instructions and all of that so first thing that we're going to do to prep our pillow i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to cut off this paper because we don't need it it just has the basic washing instructions, what to do, what not to do, where it's made and all that stuff. We don't need this paper. The next item, this is also optional. You do not have to do this, but I'm extra and this is what I'm going to do. You can either take dryer sheets or what I'm about to do, I'm going to take some dry lavender that I got from my local herb shop. You can also find herbs online. You just have to make sure that they're authentic. But this smells so good. I'm going to take this dry lavender. Oh my God, this smells so good. As soon as I opened the bag, it filled my nose. It smells so good. I'm going to take this dry lavender and we'll put it back in here for now. And I just want my pillow to have a scent, you know? So the pillows do come with this zipper where you can kind of open it. And you can take away stuffing or you can add stuffing. And it's just filled with stuffing. That's why I said if you don't have access to a pillow, you can just use regular polyfill. Because that's basically all it is. is just polyfill inside of the pillows. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my hands. I'm going to try to make a hole in this pillow. Just try to reach in there and make a little hole. And at this point, you can either stuff your dryer sheets inside of here to make it smell good. Or... I'm going to put my dry lavender right in there. Just pour it right in. And it's just going to all seep into the pillow. 
and it smells so good okay i'm gonna close this up and just like how you do a salad during lunch time i'm just gonna kind of fluff her out and toss the lavender around on the inside y'all this smells so good i really wish that y'all can smell this in person oh my goodness <laughs> it smells so good i'm just gonna flip this around so that all that lavender can get everywhere if you want to put more lavender or more dry sheets you totally can if you don't you do not have to so now that our pillow is technically prepped we close our lavender and put it to the side for now our pillow is properly prepped we are going to take our two sides essentially both of our sides are going to go on make sure that it's on the correct side it's going to go on one side and then the other side of the pillow will have the other side. So we're basically going to sandwich these two together. And what I like to do, you can either use a tapestry needle, a darning needle, a sewing needle, whatever you like to call it. You can either sew these pieces together or you can cr crochet it together like what I'm about to do. So I'm going to take the tan color we just used. I'm going to make a slip knot with our same hook. And that's why I said earlier, you don't have to worry about your circle being perfect because of the circle surface that you have. It's going to form perfectly. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to find a loop that matches with each other. I'm going to loop both together and I'm just going to single crochet both sides all the way around. Making sure that I'm not skipping a space and I'm getting every single space around the entire thing. Got to have a steady hand. I'm just going to keep going all the way around. I'm going to keep going. I'm really trying to show y'all. This is hard for me to do. I'm trying to show y'all. Keep going all the way around. And even if you don't want to start, you can start without the pillow and just kind of start on a couple rows before you insert the pillow on the inside. You can sew up like one side and then put the pillow in and close it off. And even if you wanted to make this like a pillow sleeve, you can even add a zipper if you want to be more advanced. You can add a zipper and um, make it where you can take this in and out. Or even add Velcro if you don't want to add a zipper. keep going all the way around I'm gonna do this one side and I'm gonna insert my pillow so we can start to form it around the pillow okay so I have a good side done I'm gonna just take our pillow so this is a little bit more easier to do on camera I'm just gonna put the pillow on the inside and just let it form against it that's how it's gonna look and it smells so good. You get that comfort in that scent on the inside. I mean, it's perfect. I'm going to keep going all the way around. I'm really trying my hardest to do this on camera with y'all.
All right, and then this little tail that we took from our, you can just tuck it in and crochet right over it. She will not unravel or come out or anything. That in there. This is how we're looking so far. Very plush. Very, very plush. Keep going. So we're almost done. I'm going to meet you guys when I am done closing up our pillow, okay? Just going to continue to single crochet around, okay? I'm going to meet you when we're done. Okay, so I have finished. I've come to the end. And I am just going to cut off and pull up that loop. Now, I will weave in this final one just because we don't want it to go anywhere. Just gonna weave in this last little piece. All right, so this is our final product. Oh, our beautiful little plush pillow. She's super plush. That's how the ends of it looks. Thank y'all so much for watching this full tutorial. If you end up remaking this pillow, I would love to see it. Please tag me on either Instagram or TikTok. And I also will have this pillow available on my website. If you don't know how to crochet and you just want this in your space to make it more positive and creative, I got you. I'll see y'all in the next tutorial.